This is Ken Leone, Vice President of Marketing here at Stock Rover. In this video, I'll explain what custom metrics are and their benefits, and then I'll show you how custom metrics can be viewed in the table as columns or used in filtering expressions and screeners to do more advanced screening. Lastly, I'll show how to create a custom metric from scratch. Before jumping in, a quick word about Stock Rover's out-of-the-box metrics. Stock Rover comes with some 650 plus metrics that encompass a broad set of categories. Also included are advanced metrics such as Piotrowski F score, price to Graham number, Schiller PE, margin of safety, Beanish M score, and the Altman Z score. What are custom metrics? As the name implies, custom metrics are custom or new metrics that you create using equations. Equations allow you to create your own custom calculation format based on existing stock rover metrics. Custom metrics can use both current and historical values in their equations. Metric values can be returned as decimal, dollar, or percentage. Although stock rover comes with some 650 plus metrics, Stock Rover may not have the exact metric you're looking for. Custom metrics also allow you to reference both current and historical values when computing a new metric, whereas the Stock Rover out-of-the-box metrics only reference current values. Once you create a custom metric, it's included in the metric browser as if it were built into the product. The Stock Rover metric browser provides detail on all Stock Rover metrics available to you, including all the out-of-the-box metrics, as well as any custom metrics you create. Once you create a custom metric, the metric browser will display a folder called Custom Metrics. The folder contains a list of all custom metrics. We see two custom metrics have already been created. You use custom metrics to calculate something new using existing metrics. For example, we'll select a custom metric that was previously created called Return versus Drawdown. This custom metric provides a sense of the risk-reward characteristics of a given ticker. The custom metric calculates something new using an equation that takes the trailing 12 months of return for a ticker and divides it by the absolute value of the maximum 5-year drawdown and then multiplies by 100. The higher the equation result, the better. A common use case for custom metrics is to perform a calculation using historical values. We'll select a metric called ROIC, otherwise known as Return on Invested Capital, versus 3-Year Average. This custom metric consists of an equation that's referencing historical values to compute the 3-Year Average Trailing 12-Month ROIC value. The three-year average ROIC is then subtracted from the most recent trailing 12-month ROIC value. The ROIC versus three-year average custom metric shows how the current ROIC is faring relative to the last three years, where the higher the value, the better. You can display custom metrics in the table, where you can then compare the metrics value across tickers. For example, let's load the table with the passing tickers from a growth at a reasonable price screener. And let's select the profitability view in the table. Here we see that the custom metric ROIC versus three-year average has been added as a column to the profitability view. We can now see the ROIC versus three-year average custom metric value for each ticker that's past the growth at a reasonable price screener's filtering criteria. Custom metrics behave exactly like out-of-the-box metrics. For example, we can sort the table based on the custom metric. We can also filter the metric. To remove the column from the view, We'll go to the column heading and select Remove Column.
I'd like to add the ROIC versus three-year average custom metric back into the profitability view. I'll start by selecting Add Column. I can either search for the custom metric by name or browse. Let's browse. We'll select the custom metrics folder and our custom metric. Notice the custom metric appears immediately after the company column. To reposition the column, simply go to the column header, drag and drop. I'll move it next to ROIC. As we can see, adding custom metrics to the table is simple and quick. Let's go to the Screener Manager and select my Demonstrate ROIC versus 3-Year Average Screener. Just like out-of-the-box metrics, custom metrics can be referenced as filtering criteria in a screener. In our example, we are continuing with our ROIC versus 3-Year Average custom metric and filtering on a threshold value greater than 25. We can see 14 tickers have been returned. We can also edit the filtering criteria. Let's change to 30. Let's save. For clarity, our screener has a single filter. Keep in mind, your screener's criteria can be based on any combination of out-of-the-box and custom metrics. When I select Run in Table, Stock Rover shows the passing tickers and the values of the custom metric that met our filtering criteria. When I switch to the Profitability view, I see the passing tickers and the custom metric along with the out-of-the-box metrics displayed. Custom metrics are always created from within the table. I've selected the Growth view and loaded it with the results of the top stocks screener. Here we see that the EPS QOQ change metric is the quarter over quarter change in earnings per share between this quarter and the same fiscal quarter one year ago. I'd like to add a custom metric that also shows the earnings per share percentage change of the most recent quarter from one quarter ago. We'll go to Actions, Create Custom Metric. For the first thing we'll want to do is give the custom metric a name. And um, let's give it a description as well. The display format will be Percentage. Under Includable Metrics, under Quick Add Search, we want to search for EPS. Notice EPS shows next to test with a now suffix and also in the equation editor. The now suffix indicates that Stock Rover is maintaining history. Metrics that don't have history maintained do not appear next to test or have a suffix. Let's click on edit. We can see that Stock Rover is maintaining history for trailing 12 months going back 10 years for calendar years going back 10 years, and for quarters going back 9 quarters. We want to start with the most recent quarter. We want to subtract, and let's select EPS again. We'll click on Edit, because we want to subtract one quarter ago. Once you're familiar with the Stock Rover equation syntax, you can also type freeform into the equation editor. We'll wrap it in a parenthesis and divide it by EPSQ1. Let's multiply the entire equation by 100. We'll click Test to verify the syntax. We can see that Stock Rover tested it against IBM at 118.9%. We'll create. 
we now see our custom metric in the table, along with the description. We'll just drag it and drop it over. The workflow is that you create the custom metric from within the table so that the metric can be displayed as a column in the table for comparative analysis. Once you've created the custom metric, it can be added to any view in the table. It can also be referenced as part of a screener's filtering criteria in the screen manager as we showed earlier. In summary, custom metrics extend Stock Rover's power. Custom metrics allow you to calculate something new or different, as well as reference historical data. Custom metrics can also be added to the table for comparative analysis, as well as referenced as filtering criteria in screeners. I hope you found this video useful. I encourage you to explore Stock Rover and see all that it has to offer, as well as check out our educational videos on our website. Thank you for watching.